It's a nice looking one, it's got a great arse on it. Makes no sense at all, but when does it ever? Got a lot of work for your dad, don't you? And the thing tilted and boom. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I know when pe people love it when I do that. Ring the little bell. Videos every Tuesday and Friday at half two. And the odd occasion, we smashed the Sunday video as well. Okay, so in today's video, we have some heifers that are ready to see the bull for probably about six weeks now. We've been siloing, siloing other jobs going on, other jobs going on, and we've kind of pushed it on. It's no bother really, they're just going to be a little bit bigger than normally are. We might carve at 25 to 26 months instead of the 24 we like to. That's what we're doing today. We are going to move some heifers with our cracking looking bull, Mr. Neptune. I wanted to make a bit of a pen over there on a wasted area. We just haven't had the two minutes to do it, so instead of Thank you. Instead of just making that pen, what we're gonna do is make a different kind of pen and then I'll get onto that later on this week. I've been starting topping yesterday, Sunday, which is gonna come out, has come out, who knows where I'm up to. So instead of taking this off, this will be perfect. We're gonna take this over the road, Manitou over the road. Dad's gonna take a little van. Gonna be the weirdest looking convoy ever. And then what we're gonna do is make a little bit of a, like a holding area, do the holding area, pick the ones we want and put them with a the bull. We might have to move some more mothers around later because there might be too many with a bull, but that'll be an issue we might find out. So that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing today. We are putting some more heifers with the bull. We're gonna have lots of heifers to carve in nine months and we might have a big batch of 10, 12. I don't actually know how many there are, which is no problem. It just makes an exciting nine months in time, which is gonna be when July now, quick master Tom, how can I not figure out this out? July, July now, three months backwards with the fourth, which is April. So we're gonna have a very busy start of April. We're next year, which isn't the end of the world, but hopefully they'll carve fine and they should be right. Especially being bigger, they should be A to the okay. So I'm gonna jump in this. Dad's gonna jump in the Manitou. Dad's gonna jump in the little van. We also gotta move some cows that we put on the track just to eat up the track up a little bit and just munch it off. That was the idea. Right, let's jump in this and go the road. Well, heaven knows you're like water and like fire You put me out and I put up a fight But I know where you've been, what you're going through today And I swear on my life I'm not walking away Oh Stock that just aren't ready yet. They're more than two months away that we'd think. It's a nice looking one. It's got a great arse on it. And then we've got the dry cows in here as well. We can't keep stock on this all the time. So what we do is have two or three days, put them all on, let them absolutely smash it, and then put them back onto the pasture that they're on. The pasture that they're on needs topping. It's the job to do this week whilst I've got the topper on. But what we're going to do now is just push all of them back up and into the field they should be so we can run our heifers back into there with the bull. That is the plan, but hopefully it all works. And then we've got the other young stock over here that are way, way away. These are the youngest stock that we have out. They seem to be doing really well and seem to be growing quite nicely on this pasture. The only thing with this pasture, it could do a bit of fur, but dad's got some coming this week, so we'll get that on and it will start growing back away. Just don't want them to go backwards, but they don't seem to be. They seem to be growing very nicely, which is great. Let's round these cows up with a Manitou van and a tractor and topper. Makes no sense at all, but when does it ever? Like this isn't working, so I need to get them to start walking. So I'm gonna jump out, get them to start walking, and then we will uh, then they'll move. I think.
me crazy sometimes Without a doubt, I'm blessed to call you mine And I know what I'd say about these stumbles and these sways They made me realize I'm not walking away Oh, you were didn't even think it was going to work that well myself tap on the back this could work incredibly well or catastrophically wrong if it works incredibly well the video is going to be sick if it goes catastrophically wrong i've got a good title dad is coming with a man or two and what he's going to do is going to do the same in this area so we're going to make and like a makeshift pen out of the track my idea in future which we were going to do last week but obviously we're siloing weddings life um is to make this area into a pen um, you can see that it's kind of a weighted area and we don't really do a lot with it because we can never mow it We could probably eat it up if these guys went in here. It's just a weighted area. So if we can I'm gonna start put a Fence here with a gate. I'll probably just lash it to and then start feeding here so they can knock this bit back Because technically the way they're eating at the moment Dad didn't hit me with the Thank you. Technically where they're eating at the moment is they're ruining grasslands and they're ruining grass that they could eat in the future. And if we've got this area, the, but they do this to that, we're making use of an area we wouldn't have done before. So thinking, but it's just getting the posts in and doing it. You see, we've got the heifers here. We're gonna pull them all out and then sections off the ones we don't want. I am pretty sure we want quite a few of these. So the amount that aren't going, might be quite small so i might have to have a move around in the week but we're not gonna do all today because like i said i want to carry on topping and i want to get that done uh, that field that we just put them back into that needs topping as well lots of little jobs to do which is great because i've got a full week and we're not mowing grass or tearing out or making hay bales it's amazing right give this a go yeah if you stay there if you stay there dad and you hold that up There we go. One. Go on that. Yep. What's that? What is it? That yeah. It'll come back, I think. It'll come back, Des. See what these are. Let it see its mates. I got a gate, Des. You go that way. Big, oh. let yeah, go. let it go. Yeah. yeah, let it go. Let it go. 19 I want though, black. Yeah. Red one don't want. We're going red in. We can always get to... Yeah, you're doing well there. These two here. Get one at a time. This one does. And that one actually. You get there, you get there. Uh, it's, that's a fair age that. Uh, it will be when it's older. I know what I want. That one. <laughs> this one does. This one does. Uh, Hell of a bunch, isn't it? How many? I don't know yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. A busy old boy. Let's have a look. One minute. That's well old, that. Yeah. I know, but they just might be the breed. Should see some of it. Such, yeah, maybe see some of these little heifers I've got, Ayrshire things. It needs to go, really. That definitely does. There's a reason why it's a little Ayrshire. They're a small breed. That's the oldest one here. I meant the other one. Yes, of course you did. <laughs> That's near it, near it. Looks like we're gonna do 13, looking for some. Right, okay, so we had 14. One of them I would still put in here, but father says no. And he was saying some of these airships look small. Everyone knows airships are a small breed. It's like saying that Highlands are small, yeah, it's five years old. Doesn't make sense. He's over here, he's here. 
he loves it. So we've got the 13, I'm looking for some. This pen worked quite well, but that one will work better uh, in two weeks when we're using it. Some of these heifers could probably see the bull. We don't want to give him too many. 13 heifers are going to carve in nine months. Yes, there's going to be a bit of time. There'll be a four, five, six weeks um, thing. But for us, that's quite a lot when we only have 100 milk cows. So it's going to be a fair amount. 13 will do. We'll have another look next month, pick these out. What I am going to do is start picking some out with the bull as well. And I'll get those and put it in here. And if I've got this nice, easy working corral, make my life easy so i can just pick them out when they start bagging up so everything that is been with a bull for at least five months we'll take out and we'll put into here because if it's not in calf after being with a bull for five months it's very rarely going to be in calf and it's going to be enough all the peppers it's not going to be worth it right so now we're going to get everything together get everything going and put these with the bull job done it's working currently currently working got a lot of work you now don't you so my father saying that one's small yes i know i've said it but it's like saying a terrier is small compared to the moon it's gonna be small. That's the breed. That's what we wanted. We want a small cow. And they're all those ones. But hey, all right. So dad's parked up there. Dad is just stopping these. I'm gonna jump in this and reverse it all the way down and not crash it. It's gonna happen and get these up there. Right. First time for everything. Tom not crashing in the day. Can't see it personally, but we'll give it a go. It seems good love's finally on my side. She pulls the sheets off of me every night Whispers my name, tells the sun to rise Hey, yeah, she brings me back to life So guys, that's the end of the video. Could have ended in disaster, it worked really well, and it worked really well. That was good. Uh, they came into there. Can we all appreciate me reversing down there and not doing one shunt whilst chasing heifers and also opening these gates whilst they're coming? I've just some mad skills. The last time I broke this, 
It was when I was driving too fast. Hello. And, and I hit the thing. I was thinking that when I was bouncing it, up it set off and you went, your back wheels went down a, a rear and, yeah. a bit, and the thing tilted and boom. Yeah. And it did that when he set off down here. And yeah. it went like that. Yeah. But it I did not think, oh, 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 oh. you on flat ground instead of Yeah, rear. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Me and Dad do have the odd bicker, but we don't bicker. We just uh, it's free. A, no, it's just a different yeah. opinion. And yeah, sometimes different it's, opinions. it's worth bringing them out in the open. And I totally agree with you. However, unless someone puts something there, discuss it, get on with it, get on move past it, move on. It's all right. We just have a bit of a laugh about it. We have a laugh about it. It's a laugh in it. Absolutely. I work a bit more on size. He's to date. And if it happens a bit small, give it another couple of months before you put the ball with it. Because once it's carved, I know they will still grow. But at the end of the day, just let it get a bit more size on. He's a big bull now. Don't want to damage heifers. And, um, you know, it's sometimes worth holding one or two back. They can go with the next lot straight away. And the, he's uh, serving a few as well already. He's already on them. But the point is, that there's no guarantee they're going to come into the season in the next 10 days anyway. Yeah. So, you know, you might miss one season. It's only three weeks, maybe six weeks. But if it's for the benefit of the heifer throughout its life, that's the most important thing. There we go. Final talks to Ginger Warrior. Like I say, the bull is on him already. And um, what we're going to do is pick them out tomorrow or mo Wednesday and then the eight biggest what we're gonna do is put them into there because they would be a little bit smaller than the biggest and then we'll put them into that heifer make that little corral area my video making the corral area not gonna video getting those up because we're making loads at the moment this field needs topping that field needs topping lots and lots to do but we've got a bit of time this week which is amazing so we can get on top of those jobs very happy with that guys thank you very much for watching please give it a thumbs up if you liked it it's amazing when you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel get your tp merch you can get your caps you can get your polos you can get your vests and look cool like me and wear it backwards amazing get it at pemptonsfarmshop.co.uk slash tp merch these two are laughing at me we're gonna go do a little more work sounds horrible for a monday i know thank you very much and see you later see ya Des has gone out for lunch see you in a bit